This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the oxidation reactions of the alcohols. Alcohols undergo oxidation reactions when reacted with a suitable oxidizing agent, such as acidified potassium dichromate. The color change in the reaction is orange to green, as the dichromate ion is reduced to the chromium-3 ion, which we can see here on the right. And here we have the equation for that reduction reaction. We'll start by looking at primary alcohols. Primary alcohols undergo partial oxidation to form aldehydes. Here we can see the partial oxidation of a primary alcohol to produce an aldehyde. The oxidizing agent is acidified potassium dichromate. The conditions are heat and distillation. An excess of alcohol is used in the reaction and the aldehyde is distilled off as it is produced. Next we look at distillation. Distillation is used to separate the components of a mixture that have different boiling points. Aldehydes, due to their weaker intermolecular forces, have lower boiling points than alcohols. So when the reaction mixture is heated, the aldehyde evaporates, rises up the fractionating column and condenses to form a liquid. Primary alcohols can also undergo complete oxidation to form carboxylic acids. So here we have the complete oxidation of a primary alcohol to produce a carboxylic acid. The oxidizing agent is acidified potassium dichromate. The reaction conditions are heat under reflux and an excess of oxidizing agent is used in the reaction. Next, we look at the use of a reflux condenser. A reflux condenser is used to prevent the loss of a solvent from a mixture. When the reaction mixture is heated, the vapors rise up the column, condense and flow back down into the flask. The reaction mixture and oxidizing agent are kept in contact for a longer period of time. Next we look at secondary alcohols. Secondary alcohols undergo oxidation to form ketones. Here we have the oxidation of a secondary alcohol to form a ketone. The oxidizing agent is acidified potassium dichromate. The reaction conditions are heat under reflux. And finally we look at tertiary alcohols. Tertiary alcohols do not undergo oxidation as there are no hydrogen atoms bonded directly to the carbon that's bonded to the hydroxyl group. So here we can see that in this tertiary alcohol there are no hydrogen atoms bonded to this carbon atom. Therefore tertiary alcohols do not undergo oxidation. So let's end with a summary. Primary alcohols can be oxidized to form aldehydes or carboxylic acids depending on the conditions used. To obtain the aldehyde it's heat with distillation. To obtain the carboxylic acid it's heat under reflux. The oxidizing agent is the same for both reactions as is the color change orange to green. Secondary alcohols can be oxidized to form ketones. The reaction conditions are heat under reflux. The oxidizing agent is acidified potassium dichromate which changes color from orange to green. And tertiary alcohols do not undergo oxidation. And finally an alternative oxidizing agent is potassium manganate which undergoes reduction according to this equation.